it was fun the best thing i had so much fun uh but yeah i always love playing uh against uh the best teams in the world uh i love the challenge and i i really enjoyed it it was nice and how satisfying was it to actually because you guys are not as uh, you don't have the same resources as the other teams to have perform the way that you did how satisfying personally would that was for you guys mm. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Uh, but beside not having the resources that other team have, uh, we always believe. This team always have a belief, and we've been working hard. Uh, I know now we're trying to catch up with other teams because obviously uh, there's this new technology thing that they're working with, and we're just only starting now to being introduced to that, and it's kind of harder for us because now we're trying to adjust. Uh, but I mean, it's it's working for us. I feel like we must just leave what they they use and just do us and use whatever that we we mustn't try and be and be there. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds to me like you're almost singing like that. That's not an excuse. You guys would have wanted to yeah. Okay. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Why? Why? Where is that belief come from? I mean, you guys saw last year that we made it to the finals, right? So our goal was to to win the finals this time around unfortunately we we didn't but we try our best uh but we're still happy that at least we, we made it to the finals back to back and hopefully next year we we get to bring the trophy at home I'm just you guys have beaten australia twice now in t20s three times if you count in the early eye as well earlier this year does it feel like you guys especially with the tournament as well that you guys have entered a new level um that you've overcome you know that thing where you guys couldn't you could beat everybody else but never like the top two or three so I yeah i think i think we, we're capable of, capable of doing that uh we such a a young a young team we have a, a lot of young players um and yeah we can i feel like at now at this point we can beat anyone honestly yeah uh, I'm, I'm cool, like, for me um every time you celebrate your weekend look like you didn't even know what was going on. Was it a case of you doing exactly what Paul asked you to do and it's a miracle, it's a wicked? Or, but what was that celebration? <laughs> not every ball. Um, I felt like other balls were just not the best, honestly. Uh, but unfortunately, I just got a wicked. Uh, sometimes you see me like not re really reacting to that because I just feel like, Ah, maybe I should have been punished on that one. Uh, but fortunately, I just get a wicked. But I do celebrate, especially if I see, okay, there was a gun ball. Because I can also feel it, okay, this is this was, this was a good ball. So, yeah. What are those those, those things that make you feel like this is a gun ball? What has Paul done to, to allow your natural ability to I think he has built uh, my confidence more. I felt like I wasn't confident enough before. And... Uh, Paul being around me and working with him has made things easier, as I said earlier. Um, he's a he's a nice guy. Uh, we speak more of cricket and also other stuff, and that also makes me feel comfortable, you know. But he, he really fixed a lot of things about me, especially my action. I'm, I'm sure you guys wouldn't notice my action was terrible. I'm just going to say straight. Uh, but now I feel like it's getting better, but we still have a long journey to, to obviously fix it and work. Um, so, yeah. I mean... On that, you know, fixing the things that you fix and the wickets that you ended up taking in the tournament, one of the celebrated uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, performers in the tournament. Have you taken the time to also just reflect on your own performance and say, despite the disappointment of not winning the final, I actually did well in this tournament? I'm not really that person, but people, to, people try and make me think that way. Uh, and I'm also trying to, to do so because in my head, even right now, I'm still thinking about, oh, shit, how did we lose the final, you know? Uh, but the most important thing, like, we just need to focus more on the positive, not the negative. I mean, I did well for myself and for the team as well. I felt like we did absolutely amazing, um, even though we couldn't bring the trophy at home. But who knows? Maybe next day it's our turn. Yeah. Left it maybe from my side. Um, the situation that you guys find yourself in is the similar situation that the men's find yourself in. Of just uh, not quite going there. Uh, can you can you put a finger? Uh, when you are writing exams, there's some they say you have a mental problem. Um, how can we get over this mental problem and uh, go to a tournament and mm. just win it? I don't know, man. Honestly, I, I really don't know because. 
we can go to the tournament telling ourselves that we are in it to win it. But something just happened, I don't know, honestly. Out of the blue, just there's just something that's just happened. And even today, we don't know what is it. Because honestly, I was very nervous before the semifinals against Australia. I was very nervous. But against New Zealand, I wasn't that nervous. And I'm asking myself, maybe there was also the reason why we didn't win. Because I wasn't that nervous as the, Austra uh, the Australian came. So I, I don't know, maybe we need to go back and look to ourselves and think and... Maybe there's, maybe there's something, honestly, I, but I don't know. But I feel like there is something.